everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I've got a video for you that includes all my favourite things that I've been loving at the minute. There's quite a lot of stuff so yeah I'll just get into it. But first, how cute is this mug? Oh I love it. I literally love it. Like this time of year I just love having hot drinks and if it, when it's in a hot mug, I don't know if this is just me but it just tastes better, I swear it tastes better. Like hot chocolate is my favourite drink so the minute I've got green tea, which isn't really that appetising, but hot chocolate, coffee, coffee, tea, you need it in this. This is the cutest thing. I don't know where it's from. It doesn't say. I think it was from B&M or something, but it's so cute. Hmm. That is still too hot. I don't know if it's just me, but when you have cups of tea, like when you have green tea, I swear it just takes forever to cool down or is that just me? I don't know. I don't know where to go. Food. Since we've talked about drinks, I'm going to talk about food. This is a bit of a weird favourite, but I have been loving Jaffa Cake mini rolls. I love them. I can't stop eating them. I've been eating them at six today. I just love them. I don't know why I like them so much, but I just swear they're more orangey than the biscuits. I don't know if it's just me, but I absolutely love them. What's first? Okay, skincare. So. I've been loving a couple of things for skincare. First being the La Roche Posay Effacla. <laughs> I'll just show you because I don't really know how to say it. But if anyone, oh there we go, the lines back. If anyone watches Live Guy on YouTube, I love her. She's amazing. I watch her Instagram stories as well, and she was saying that this, and she has like the cleansing milk. I got the spot treatment too but I haven't really tried that out and what else I think it was the toner she's been loving these and I tried it because my skin's been like annoying recently and yeah she said it's amazing so I wanted to try that out and I'm literally nearly finished I need to buy another one I got mine from Boots and I think it was about £15 but it was on sale for like £9 so why not killing on a more cheap and oh I've been if you watch my haul I've been just I just love this face wash I used to use it when I was literally like 12 but I've been using it again and it's just so good like genuinely it makes your skin feel amazing like softer than anything anything it is amazing moisturizer this moisturizer oh first let's just talk about the smell if you have not smelled this you need to go to your nearest boots Harvey Nichols, House of Fraser, Selfridges, and smell this. It is the Glam Glow Water Burst. It smells incredible. I've literally not smelled a better smell. It's like sweet, like, not sweet, but yeah, it is sweet, but it's like bubble gum. It is phenomenal. I literally love it. I could sniff it all day. Sometimes I just put it on my wrist and just smell it. I don't know if that's weird, but I just love it. If Also, on the similar note, if anyone has not tried the Neutrogena Hydro Boost, you just need to try it. The range is amazing. It's a little bit pricey, like for the face swaps. I haven't got any because I've just run out. It's about five pounds for white, and I know that's not that expensive. But when you like go through them, like no tomorrow, it is a bit expensive. But so I've been using the Hydro Boost. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, anyway, ignore my disgusting nails. They're vile. Hydro Boost Eye Awakening Gel Cream smells amazing. It smells. Oh, it's locked. Wait. It smells. If you can see that, it just makes your skin feel amazing, and it dries really quick. It's kind of like a sweet smell, but not bubble gum. It's just like it's like more fresh than sweet, and it just makes your body feel amazing. Like you look like luminous, and it just sinks in so fast. I hate putting moisturizer on because I just want to get up and put my clothes on, or just like. Because you can't even get into bed really when you like, I say light so much, I'm so sorry. When you're sticky, you don't want to get into bed, do you? Like, <sighs> for God's sake, yeah. Anyway, it's really good. This is really good. The best is the whites and they do look a bot. <sighs> they do a body butter, and but you can use it on your face and it's honestly, they're just so good. You need to try it. You just need to. Let's talk about makeup. Two lip colours that I've been loving. Those are colours. 
they're great. That's really annoying, isn't it? Let's move them. Look about this. Dose of colours. So, this lip, matte lip cream and the lip gloss. I just love them. I absolutely love them. This is in the shade Supernatural. And the gloss is in the same goals, but with a Z, not an S. It is amazing. Let me swatch it for you. There's one. One second. My hands are wet from the moisturiser. It is the nicest nude. And these together are beautiful. And it's more like of a goldy tint. Wait. The gloss is more of a goldy tint. So it makes... It sits just nice and it's nice for this time of year. Like it just sits so nice, you just need it. Holly Boone put on here that it was about it was ages ago in the summer, but she put in that she used to love this and I just love it. It's not really drying on your your um your face. It's not very drying on your lips. It's matte but it's not too matte. It's not like if anyone's tried the custom of the Kylie lip kits, they're dry. Like you know when it separates and you just look crusty like not pretty, it is not that. You need it. Ofra. Ofra Glow Girls? Yeah, the one with Nikki Tutorials. This is phenomenal. It is amazing. I'm sorry, but I just cannot get over it. I stopped using it for a while, but I'm obsessed with it. The pigment in it is amazing. And it, I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if I've got, oh, have I got a patch? <laughs> It's just so pretty, it's the, and it blends like a dream. If you just put it on, it just like melts into your skin, like, oh god, it just melts in, it is amazing, you need it. Put it on your Christmas list because you won't regret it. This foundation is, is life changing. I love this foundation so much. It's the LA Girl Pro Coverage. If you want Pro Cover, wait, oh, Mia. If you want full coverage and glowy and do Oops. I'm a bit excited. If you want full coverage and glowy skin and dewy skin but not look cakey, this is the foundation. I don't know how much it is, let me check. Ten pounds. Ten pounds for foundation. Sorry what? It is incredible. You need it. Mine is in the shade New Beige. That's more of my tan colour though. It that is quite dark, it's not a very pale colour, I just can't, <laughs> it's not a very pale colour, but honestly you need it, I, my favourite foundations are like the Too Faced Born This Way or, what else, Too Faced Born This Way is good, <sighs> Matte and Poreless by Maybelline, why can't I think, anyway, you need this, for £10, it's amazing, it makes your skin look beautiful, you need it. Next, so, uh, this isn't really makeup, but it works with makeup, if you know what I mean. I've literally rinsed it. This is the Glossier Priming Moisturiser. This is so good, and can we just talk about their packaging? I've got a bit of dirt on it, but it's beautiful. It is so satisfying, their packaging. But, this is so good. It's so lightweight but moisturising like you don't feel like you've got loads of moisturiser it's not very you know like an oil where it feels very like on your skin do you know what I mean like <laughs> I'm trying <laughs> you know when you can feel it on your skin like it's thick and it doesn't sink in very fast it's not like that it sinks in but you feel hydrated like you still look luminous and it's just beautiful and the packaging just makes it well, worthwhile I'm gonna ask for loads of this from Christmas I watched um Yaz Online's haul, if anyone's ever heard of her, you should go and check her out. She got loads of this for her birthday and the packaging is just to die for. Go and check it out. Next. Let's move on to scents. I'm a little bit late on the bandwagon to this, but misguided babe... Oh, it's not fixing. Misguided babe power. You... It is addictive, like I just keep spraying it because it just smells so good, you just need it in your life. It's such a cute packaging. I got the travel one because they didn't have the big one in stock. But this one came with this, um, is this plastic? I'm not really sure what this is. <laughs> but 
it smells amazing. It's very fruity, very sweet, but it's not sweet like flowery sweet because I don't really like flowery scents. It's more like actual sweet. You'd be like, mmm, sweets, you know? And I forgot I also ordered this one, but it fell in my fell in my pants drawer, but I've only just remembered. This one is the boss. Oh, freezing. Boss babe. This one. This is more of like a deep, se that sexy smell. Like, it's more, it's not like black opium, but it's that sort of vibe, if you know what I mean. It's like, hmm, that sort of smell. But these are unreal. They're not even that expensive, but for perfume, and they last all day. If you are wanting like a not expensive, but like everyday perfume, these are really good. Where is it? Okay, for a more expensive, like luxury perfume for like when you're going out, you need to smell this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury. I'm not sure what it's called. Scent of a Dream. Oh, look at that packaging. How pretty is that? If you just put that on your side, it's rose gold as well. It's just beautiful. And this is a very, it's a very deep smell. Again, it's quite sexy, but it's more of like, I feel like a more mature scent. You'd smell it and be like, mm, that's nice as you walk past, but you wouldn't be like, Oh, I don't know. You, you can't, uh, why can't you just smell it through the camera? That's what that needs to be invented because it just smells really good. Check it out if you see it because I'm not very good at explaining, but even the packaging I feel like is enough to get it. It's a little bit expensive. It's, I think it's about £70-£80. I got mine off Call Beauty, but it's just so pretty. Like If you're not even going to like the smell, just put it on your desk. Um, staying on the scents. We've got a room spray, and I don't really know if I should include this, but I feel like everyone needs to smell this. I went into TK Maxx the other day because I was sniffing the candles, why not? And this was in there, and this is... This is the Aromatherapy De-Stress Room Spray. Well, let me tell you, wait. It smells like a spa. There is no other way to explain it, but it smells like a spa. It says, calming cardamom and clarifying rosemary but that makes it sound rubbish because i hate rosemary but it's not it smells like why i can't describe it it smells like a spa in a spa i just can't say it it just smells beautiful it was 4.99 and yet it just makes you like in the room i just spray it all in the room and my boyfriend loves it he as much as he wouldn't want to admit it right He's like, can you spray the spray before we go to bed? Because it is that nice. Trust me, you will not regret it. Candles. So, let's, before we even talk about these, look how pretty these candles are. How cute are they? Bro, they're copper, rose gold, however you want to say it. And they look so expensive. They're from B&M, okay? They smell like Christmas in a candle. Um, there's just no other way to explain it. It is beautiful. I just can't. I literally can't. I'm so excited for Christmas. It smells like this just make me want to cry. I'm just so excited. A cinnamon sugar donut. I don't even really like cinnamon, but this. This is amazing. You just need it. You really do. They're literally, I think they were like £4 each. For like, uh, they're really big. There's, is there two wicks? Yeah, there's two wicks. You just need it. It's massive and they look so pretty on your desk. The other one I got was Pumpkin Waffles. What a cute name. This will make you want to go and eat a crap load of food. Really nice food. And just snuggle in a blanket with a hot chocolate. It is amazing. Can't get a lid on. You need these. They're so nice. And for four pounds, you can't really go wrong, can you? They're pretty. They smell good. What more do you want? Go on, be in them. Okay. These are more of an expensive candle, but they're so nice. Just look at the packaging of this. They're by a brand called Woodwick Tr 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 Trilogy. Is it Trilogy or Tr Trilogy? <laughs> Wow, okay. So, this is in the scent, this says, Dreamsicle Daydream, Strawberry, Parfait, Marion Berry. Okay, I'm not making it very smell nice, because I can't say it, but I'll show you the label. 
How pretty is that? And do you know what the best thing about it? I'm going to show you. It crackles when you light it. It makes it so cosy. Wait. Listen. Can you hear that? How cosy is it? I'm just going to leave it on. <laughs> How cosy is that? I literally love it. They're quite expensive. I think you can get them in boots for about 20, 25 pound. I think, I'm, I think, don't quote me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure they're owned by Yankee Candle and they're sold in the, in Bristol, um, in Cabot Circus, they're sold in the same shop. But I think they're just like the more expensive version. It's like if you want to treat yourself and just get something that you're like, oh, you need it. Also, they have a baby powder scent. Beautiful. Have you ever smelt the baby powder one from Yankee Candle? This is better. Better. Bigger and better. Rough now to be honest. We're nearly there. I don't know if this is weird or not, but I feel like we're all girls and we all use deodorant, don't we? So I've been loving I've just started going to the gym recently. Obviously you swear in the gym. And I've been loving this sure motion motion sense invisible aqua deodorant it's a roll-on and i don't usually go for roll-ons because i didn't think they work but megan grubb if you've ever heard of her she well she's based on like her channel's based on fitness as well as lifestyle and this doesn't smell anything special to be honest but it genuinely holds your sweat off it really does i don't go to the gym and come out and be like fuck me i smell it's actually really good so and I think they're bringing out two more scents as well, so go and have a look if you sweat. <laughs> I've been rambling for so long, haven't I? It is amazing. I literally can't sleep. I struggle to sleep, and I think it's a psychological thing, because you get into bed, and I'm just like, hmm, what can I think about next, or like, what should I watch? And it's annoying, because I just, I want to get up, go to bed, want to like, <sighs> why can't I talk? I want to go to bed, and I want to just be like, night. This helps me. It smells very calming, like more lavendery, chamomile scent. But I think it's a psychological thing, but I just spray it all over my bed and my pillows before I go to sleep. And I genuinely think it works. I think, I think you need it. I think you do. <laughs> okay, time. It's that time again, isn't it? It's cold. I'm pale. Suntan's gone from the holiday. It's time to fight time. These... Bondi sands eat your heart out. These are unreal. St. Moritz, you are legends. No, no Bondi sands £20. They're about £4, £6 each. Sorry, what? Okay. I mix two because, why not? I think they make like a perfect colour. So this is the St. Moritz Fast Tan 60 Minute Tan. Don't leave it on for 60 minutes. That's a lie. However, it is a lovely colour, and I mix it with the 5-in-1 Tanning Mousse Dark. These together make such a nice smell. You know that it's not green toned, it's not red toned, it's like olivey toned, exactly what you want, like an actual tan. It's not red, because some of them just have a funny tinge, don't they? It is beautiful, it's like golden, it is such a nice colour. For about, it's honestly, let, don't quote me on under £10, but it's under £12 for both of them honestly and they blend seamlessly there's no patches and they come off like a dream absolute dream and alongside that what on intervention this is the Saint Tropez scent this is from Beauty Bay the Saint Tropez tan exfoliating mitt these three together they're match made in heaven genuinely match made in heaven rips your tan off <laughs> And it doesn't hurt, it's really soft, you just put your little hand in, put some soap on, and you just rub it across your skin, it, it exfoliates it off, and there's no patch. I scrubbed mine off earlier, and there's no, you know when you get it in, in the creases of your arms, or your armpits, or like your collarbones, that's really hard to get off, or your knees, there's none. Genuinely, this strips your tan off, this is a lifesaver. But, oops. I got mine off Beauty Bay. And you need it. Trust me, you need it. You finished. If you've lasted this long, I'm proud. These hand sanitizers. Sorry, but these are the love of my life. This one is my favourite. It's the Bath and Body Works. They're the Bath and Body Works. Are they called like anti-backs or something? They've got a little name for them. 
but I'm obsessed with these. Every time I go on holiday and they do a Bath and Body Works, I stock up on these because I go through them like there's no tomorrow. There's one in every corner of my room, every bag, in my car. This is the Eucalyptus and Tea with Essential Oils. This is amazing. Honestly, there's warm vanilla sugar. Look, look how cute they are. Sorry, but they're literally the cutest things. Ocean. Oh, that's a men's one. It smells good, though. And Sorry, the camera died. But look how cute these are. You need them. They're like £5 for about eight. You literally need them. They're, if you ever go to America, and go and check them out because they're the cute. They make you want to wash your hands all the time. Sorry, but you need them. Lastly, but not least. And everyone goes, I'm going to be more organised next year. No, 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 no. I say it every year, and am I? No. But do I buy things to try and make me more organised? Yeah. I just couldn't resist this. How cute is this? So I got this from Poundland and it's this weekly planner and it's marble and copper. What more do you want? And it just has the Monday to Monday to Sunday weekly planner and a note section at the bottom. And I thought I'm going to be generic, but I'm going to try it and I'm going to try and be more organised next year. I mean, I might even start it if I get a bit more busy, but at the minute I don't need it. Motivate me to write things down what I want to do and yeah actually do them because lastly i think this is so sweet i went into paper chase the other day because i needed some stuff for college and look how beautiful this is it's such a pretty book and it's set it, it's like set not in old times but it's like not it's got like brown pages and stuff like it's really cute and if you just it's got like a contents page and you just flick okay let me just find one so, list of the happiest moments of your life so far. And then at the bottom it says, take action. Sometimes it's easy to, easy to forget all of the wonderful things that have happened in our lives. Come back to this list every day this week to remember you have a beautiful life. How sweet is that? Because you do, like when you're having a bad day, and when, I know this is weird, and this isn't weird, but when the weather's more miserable and it goes dark so fast, like I do that motivation, I'm a bit like a little slug, I'm just like... <laughs> mumbling around but I genuinely think little things like this like a little gratitude diary do make you better let me try okay list all of the people who brighten your day and then in the take action bit it says write a sweet note to or do something thoughtful for one or some of these people who make your life easier lighter or happier and I just think little things like that you need them because it helps you you can get stuck in a rut and I don't think I don't think it's very easy to get out of but if you like try and keep on top of it and do little things like this to, I think that can help because you can look back at it and be like do you know what life isn't actually that bad like and I just think it's really sweet and I just thought it's cute it was £12 and it wasn't from Paper Chase sorry I did go in there but it's from Urban Outfitters but yeah well, I just thought this was really sweet and there's one for every day of the year wait is there, is there 52 days in the year? oh one for every week of the year whoops but yeah I still haven't drunk this and it's cold off it. Mm. Yeah, not great. <laughs> but, ah, oh, that, they're so annoying now, aren't they? But yeah, so that's everything, in, that's everything and that concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed it because I just think it's nice to what I love watching these videos. They're like cosy, like I get some snacks and I get a cup of tea and I watch them and I just think, oh, like it's nice to see what people's favourite things are, like, and not just makeup and skincare sometimes. I think it's nice to see, I don't know, because candles, you want candles at this time of year. My camera keeps overheating, so sorry if the angles change, but yeah, I just thought this would be a nice little idea because I love watching these sort of videos. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, if you like and so subscribe. If you like and subscribe down below, that would be much appreciated. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!